LO methods of vacuum filtration. In the following clip we will show you how to filter using a vacuum and a Buckner and Hirsch funnels. Here is the equipment you'll be using for a Buckner filtration. Notice the Buckner flask with the side arm and the Buckner head which is the round porcelain head. There are several types of heads for a Buckner flask. Here are two Hirsch flasks. The 2cm ones are one for smaller quantities of material, 3cm Hirsch flasks are one for larger quantities of material. This is how to incorrectly set up vacuum filtration using a Buckner filter. The rubber tubing being attached now is connected to the grey vacuum tap which leads to the general university's vacuum. Now, the substance to be filtered is being added. In this case it's being added slowly, almost being decanted. Notice the foam appearing in the bottom of the Buckner flask. This foam should never be sucked up into the rubber tubing. That was how to incorrectly do it. This is how to correctly do it. Notice the Buckner flask is clamped down, or a retort stand of clamp and boss. Again, the porcelain Buckner head is put on top of the flask and the vacuum turned on. The substance to be filtered is swirled and a magnetic stirrer bar is used on the outside of the flask to keep the other magnetic stirrer inside the flask. Then, the substance is poured straight into the Buckner head, taking care not to overfill it. This way you get the maximum amount of solids and liquids to filter. As shown here, not much is left. This is a view from the top. The solvent will be slowly sucked through. Notice how the filtrate in the Buckner flask is clear. This means none of the solid has been sucked through the filter. If there's problems with the filtration and it is filtering slowly, sometimes it helps to remove and reattach the rubber tubing. As you can see, the filtration is occurring at a much faster rate now. This is how it would look after the filtration is complete. As you can see, all the solvent has been filtered off. The following portion of this clip shows you how to dismantle the button equipment. First we remove the rubber tubing, then followed by turning off the vacuum tap. Unclamp the button flask, removing the porcelain head. It helps to keep the porcelain head upright on the clamp, making sure we don't lose any of your products. Now we will wash the remaining um, solids out of the conical flask using the filtrate. Then you reassemble the Buckner filtration equipment. Taking care to ensure it is fully clamped. Reattach the rubber hose. Give the conical fast a good swirl, turning on the vacuum tap. And again, like before, quickly pour in your solution. Sometimes it's useful to damp down the filter paper in a Buckner funnel. You'd normally do this using the same solvent as that that your product is suspended in. This will help the filter paper to stay in position so that your product doesn't go down the side of the filter paper and get sucked into the Buckner flask. Sometimes we use sintered funnels. These have a, a glass sinter at the bottom, that's the white thing you can see here in this funnel. Now that's actually got very small holes in it, it's porous, and the porosity can be changed, so you can get sinters of different grades, some of which have smaller holes than others. Now we tend to use these for very small quantities, or for where we have very finely divided powders. Uh, it's particularly useful in analytical work. Because these can be dried in the oven, as shown on the right, we can make sure they're completely water-free. And this is especially important when we are doing uh, analytical work where accuracy is incredibly important. In many cases, you'll be required to wash your product. Uh, this is particularly important if you had water as a solvent, because the water may well remain in your solid product. So typically you'd use ethanol first to wash out the traces of water, and then you'd use ether, which is much more volatile. This will wash out any remaining ethanol and will easily be removed because of its volatility. This will help you to ensure that you get a pure product.